Sarah, for the record, can you state your full name and date of birth? Sarah Dawn Recovery. My date of birth is 102288. Sarah, you know why you're here today? Okay. All right, basically you're here today regarding an incident that happened involving your mother. Okay? What can you tell me about the incident that happened back on Tuesday, December 31st? Um, did we tell you everything that happened? Yes. Um, my mother came home at about 6.30 um, at night and she was sitting in the living room and was talking about how she's upset with everything and that other people using her and my dad and stuff like that and I was really really dope sick and I asked her if I could use her car to go get marijuana but that was really gonna go use it to go get hair and I think she kinda knew that she told me no. And I was, I just wanted to get high. And so I went into the kitchen and she was in the living room watching TV, smoking a cigarette. And I was making a pizza and her back was like, her back was towards the kitchen so she couldn't see me. And I asked her again to use her car, and she said, "No, I'm not using my vehicle. I don't care. I don't care about me. Um, you're not using it." And I got really, really, really upset, and my body got really hot, and I seen the hammer, and I picked up the hammer, and I got I stood on top of the counter, and I hit her in the head with the hammer and she screamed out, what the fuck? And then I jumped off the counter and then I hit her again with the hammer and again and again. And then the dog champ came out because he heard her yelling and he like nipped me in the back of the leg and I hit him with the hammer. And he stopped and went behind the couch. My mom ran to the door. And I pushed her. Hold on just a second. I pushed her. And then he kept hitting her in the head with the hammer. I don't know how many times I just kept hitting her. And there's good blood everywhere. And I didn't want my son to get up because he was sleeping in his room. And I don't want him to hear him. I don't want him to hear her. So I, when she was laying there, I took her by the hand and dragged her into the bathroom. And then, and then I hit her again in the bathroom. And she said, Sarah, you could use my car. I'm sorry, you could use my car. And at that point, like, there was just so much blood everywhere. And I told her I'm sorry, and I loved her. And then I laid her down on the ground, and um, I tried to try to choke her because she was, like, gurgling, and I didn't want her to be suffering. And so I tried to choke her, and I couldn't because it was so slippery. There's just there was so much blood, and and then I just left her there. And I went into the kitchen. I got the duct tape, and I duct taped her leg because I didn't want her to get out of the bathroom and walk out and then tell on me and so I tied her legs up and I seen that she wasn't breathing anymore and then I went and 
I heard my son get up and he's saying, where's my mom, where's my mom? And I said, mom's fine, baby. And I took him into the living room and put cartoons on. And then I started cleaning up the blood that was right everywhere. And there was just even towels and was anything I could find to clean up the blood. And then I cleaned up myself and got the her clothes on and I took her mat cards and I took my son and I packed, packed a couple of days with the clothes and I left and I went to the back machine and pulled out I think it was like six hundred dollars and I went to the keys court and got a brick pan and I went to the hotel room <coughs> with my son and he was playing and I called my friend because I didn't know how to shoot him and I never shot it before and I really wanted to because I just didn't want to deal with it anymore and she came over and she did hair with me and um, she shot me my first time she showed me how to do it and then for the past then four or five days I was just strung out in here and then I finally went back to the house and then I got um, I see that there's still blood everywhere so I went to the Walmart I think it was Saturday night with my son and I put um, I got car contractor bag and um, 409 cleaner with bleach and vinegar and washcloths and two sponges and um, um, hand gloves and I put it on a big bin and I walked out of Walmart with it and I went back to the house and I cleaned up the mess and I was I wanted to put my mom in bed, but I just couldn't go to the bathroom. And instead, I just got high. And then um, after the money was gone and the dough was gone, I left. It was the seventh, and I was going to go to my baby dad's court date, and it got canceled. And I was feeding for dope. And I went and robbed the TNC bank, and then I got um, pulled over and arrested. Okay, sir. Let's go back. The incident at the trailer. What's the address of the trailer? Hey, who lives at the trailer? Me, my mom, and my dad was staying there. He got arrested in jail. And your mom's name? Dawn Marie Wagner. And the father of your child, what's his name? Okay. So you're saying that it all started over a confrontation, argument, dispute over car keys. So the vehicle is owned by who? My mother. Your mother? And why wouldn't she allow you to take the vehicle? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure she's seen out I was dope sick, and I'm pretty sure she knew I was gonna go buy dope. And she didn't want me to see that. But I was just so sick. Okay, so prior to the assault on your mom, did your mother go to work that day? Mm -hmm. And in the bedroom sleeping, correct? Right? Mom came home from work roughly what time? That's the normal time that she comes home from work. What time does she usually come home from work? About five. Five days. Was there a reason why she came home at half five? Possibly you know why she came home at half five later? Possibly at five. Mm -hmm. She didn't tell me. She said she didn't think about these things. Yeah, your mom owns on the the vehicle. What kind of vehicle? 
What's the make and model of the vehicle? Chevy. Um, the sh small Chevy. Little bit of look like Cobalt. Okay. Um, I don't know the exact name. Two door, four door. Four door. Red. Red color. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's Mom's vehicle. Mm -hmm. And that's the vehicle that you wanted to take, and she refused to give you the keys. Okay. Okay. So the, the first first of all, you got the hammer from where? The um, kitchen. The kitchen drawer. Kitchen drawer. Did you remove anything else from the kitchen drawer? The duct tape. A roll of duct tape? Okay. So the first strike, you're behind your mom and you hit her in the head. And then from there, did your mom fall to the ground at that point? No, she got she like she got up and said she looked at me and said, What the fuck? Okay. And that's when I jumped off the counter. And start hitting her. Sarah, um, where was your mom sitting when you first hit her? Um, the left seat. It was um, right in front of the the counter, right in front of the kitchen counter. Like her back was like towards the kitchen, so she couldn't see me. And she was watching TV and smoking a cigarette. And you said you got the hammer from um, the kitchen cabinet, correct? The kitchen drawer. Kitchen drawer. Did you get, was the hammer out for a while or did you just grab it right at that time when you made that decision to hit her? Just grab it. So you just struck her one time. Her response was, oh, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Did she fall to the ground at all? No, she didn't fall to the ground until I got off the counter and struck her again. At that time, was she still sitting on, on the chair? No, she. Um, fell by the TV. In the living room? Mm -hmm. Okay. She fell to the ground. Describe to me what happened after that. After that, um, Champ, the big dog, her big dog came out and heard her yelling and he tried to stop me by nipping the back of my leg. But I hit him with the hammer in the head and he stopped and went behind the couch. And that's when she ran to the door. But I pushed out of the way. The front door of the trailer residence? Yes. Okay. Did your mom leave the trailer? No. Okay. So she ran towards the door. Mm -hmm. And at that point, what happened? I pushed her. And then she fell to the ground in the kitchen. And I just started hitting her again in the head. The hammer. Sarah, did your mom attempt to defend herself or stop the attack? Um. Yeah, when um, we were in the living room by the, uh, by the TV, she tried putting her hands up and blocking and tried to grab for my arm, my hand. But it was slippery. Was she already bleeding by then? Yeah. Okay, well, she's trying to defend herself. What did you do after, after that point, after, after striking her in the kitchen? Um, I didn't, uh, she was just laying there, like motionless, and then, so I thought she was, I thought she was dead, so I dragged her to the bathroom, and I laid her down, and she said, she said she wasn't dead, and she said, you could use my car, you could use my car, and then that's when I tried to choke her, but there's too much blood and I couldn't grab her neck. Okay, sir, so you, you, you grab your mom while she's on the ground in the kitchen. How did you grab her? You grab her by her arms. Mm -hmm. At this point, is she fighting, squirming around at all? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you grab her by her arms. Okay. Like she was her arms are up in the air. Yeah. Her feet are, are, are on the ground, and you're just pulling her backwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you pull her through the kitchen, through the living room, and down the hallway. Mm -hmm. And you, you take her where? Into the bathroom. Into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the bathroom's located where in the trailer? In the back of the trailer. And then right. far into the hallway? Mm -hmm. Okay. While you're dragging, your son is still sleeping in, the, in his bedroom to your left? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you drag him on down the hallway. 
to the rear rear of the trailer. All right, so now in the bathroom. Okay, tell me what happened in the bathroom. In the bathroom, um, I remember I, I remember I hit her in the bathroom. I think like once or twice. And and that's when she said, "You could use my car. I'm sorry, you use my car." And then I told her, "I'm sorry, you and I love her." And then that's when I tried to choke her because she was gurgling and there's one thing on her to suffer. And I thought she was she was dead. And then I heard get up, so I went and went and got her and took her into the living room with the cartoons on. And he's like, "Where's my mom? Where's my mom?" And I said, "My mom's fine, baby." And then I got the duct tape and I went back into the bathroom and she was motionless, wasn't breathing. And I tied her legs up because I just thought, you know, she might get up, she might wake up. Okay. So you say you, you try to strangle her or you, you did strangle her? I tried, but I couldn't like... Were well, you couldn't. standing behind her or in front of her? Like this. Over top of her, while she's she, on the ground. Yeah. We're straddling over. Yeah. What position was your mom in? Um, she was like laying on her back by the wall. Between the, um, the door and the couch. And the, and the, and the, and the sink? Mm -hmm. Okay. You also said you struck your mom with the hammer in the bathroom? How did the um, hammer get back into the bathroom area? Because I, I brought it with me. When? When I was dragging her. I was carrying it with me and I was pulling her. So once you got her in the bathroom, then you decided to check on your son's car? No, he got up. Okay, he got up? Mm -hmm. And you met him before he was able to come down the hallway? Mm -hmm. Where's the hammer at this time? In the bathroom. Okay. So you reassured that everything's okay, okay? The cartoons on the In the living room, turn on the television, cartoons, or he's watching cartoons, you go back to the, to the bathroom. No, I went into the kitchen and got the duct tape. Okay. And then you got the duct tape, went back down, put the duct tape on your mom? On her legs. On her legs? Across her legs and put duct tape around her. Around her upper legs, lower legs? Lower legs, her ankles. Around her ankles. Okay. Did you put the duct tape on her anywhere else? And the reason why you did put the duct tape on her was for what reason? I, I didn't want her to, to get up, and I thought that she was going to get up and go outside and, and tell me, or tell somebody, and I didn't want that to happen, and I didn't want to get in trouble. But at this time, mom's pretty much unresponsive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you thought maybe there was a possibility she was going to get up. I thought maybe she was unconscious or something. Okay. All right, so you put the duct tape on mom, you leave the bathroom, you attend to your son. Tell me what happened after that. After that, um, after I duct taped her and I seen that she wasn't breathing anymore, I started cleaning up. Like my face, I had blood on my face, and it was on my hand, it was all over me. And I changed my clothes, and I started to wipe up a lot of blood in the hallway, and in the living room, and in the kitchen. Okay. And then I went back into the bathroom, and got the hammer, and threw it in the garbage, and threw the rags in the garbage. And what garbage? The bathroom garbage or what? The kitchen garbage? Okay. And then I put the duct tape back on the counter. The counter where? In the kitchen. Okay. And then I got some clothes from the clothes And I got my mom's um, wallet, um, her IDs, and her cards. And I went to this guy in the car. Okay. And then I went to the um I went to the beach board and got a brick here and then 
I stayed at the Highland Terrace Hotel for a couple of days, and I didn't know how to shoot him, so I called my to come over to help me. Okay. Hey, Sarah, real quick. Um, do you know what clothing you were wearing when you um, attacked him up? I was wearing Eeyore pajama bottoms, and it was like a white, long white sleeve. I think it was a Steeler shirt. Long sleeve Steeler shirt. And what did you use to clean up the scene? Um, towels and rags that I found around the house. Any cleaning products at that time? Um, there was, um, like, bathroom stuff that I used, but it didn't really work that well. That's why I went to Walmart and got all the cleaning supplies. And just for the record, you know, um, I know you said, um, what was the primary area where you were striking your mom with the hammer? Um, in the kitchen. I mean, what, what was the primary her area on her other body? Her head. Her head? Was she struck anywhere else on, on her body other than her head? If you can remember, sir, do you remember what your mom was wearing? Um, I know, I'm pretty sure she was wearing zebra straight um, pants. That little kind of shirt she was wearing. Remember the clothes she wore to work that day? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what time did you leave <coughs> the trailer? After after the assault, probably like seven thirty ish, close to eight. That's p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you leave the house and grab some belongings, clothing, clothing for yourself and for your son. And toys for him. Okay. And I believe you said you met up with a friend. Well, she came over to the to the hotel. What motel was that? Highland Terrace Motel. Highland Terrace, and that's located where? Um, Route 30, either North Huntington or North Sales. Okay. What's her last name? I don't know her last name. I know she lives in North Sales, though. Where at? Um, it's right by the, uh, she didn't know anything about me hurting my mom or anything else. You contacted her, or she contacted you? Arrangements were made. You contacted her. Mm -hmm. Okay. I owed her a couple of bags of mail And I asked, I said, um, why don't you come over and when I out and I'll give you, you know, your hand that I owe you, but just can you help me shoot up? I did it before. Okay, so when you left when you left the, the trailer, did you have any money on you? Any any checks? Any Credit cards, debit cards, anything like that? What did you have? I had all my mom's debit cards and her checkbook and her identification, her identification, her social security card. And these items were where? Originally? Originally they were in her purse. And the purse was at the house or in her mom's car? At the house, on the counter. Okay. All right, so you leave the resident with your mom's belongings, purse, debit card, did you, did you stop and get cash? Did you use these debit cards anywhere? Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Some of I used the Pinnacle account to get the money out. And then I used the Pinnacle one to get the room for a couple of nights. And I paid cash some nights for the room. And then I used the checking, choice checking to get cigarettes and food and stuff like that for the motel. Okay, so the first transaction was made at, you said, Sunoco, mm -hmm. and that's on, where is that located? Um, I believe it's Route 66, Delmont. Route 66, Delmont? Okay, and that's just north of Route 22? Yeah. Okay, and that's the Sunoco, if you're traveling southbound on Route 22, Sunoco on your right? Yes. Okay, ATM's inside or outside? Inside. Okay, so how much did you withdraw at that? during that transaction? Um, $600. $600. Okay. So you leave there, and then where do you go? Straight to the dope dealer. Okay. 
Does your dub dealer? Um. No. Um, where, where do you meet? Um, um in Midtown, East and East Court. Downtown East Court. Okay. Can you describe? He's tall and black. He has a little bit of your teeth. Looks fairly young. And he wears like a hat, like a cap. How do you how young do you think? I don't my age I really don't know. Okay, about twenty three, twenty four? Okay, you're what, twenty four? Okay. You're twenty five. Okay, so he's around your age. Okay. So you say it's mid is that the housing development, housing project? Yeah, high rise. High rise. One building? That's in downtown McKeesport. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you meet with Okay, and you buy, you purchase your hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from there you go where? To the motel. Back to your motel in Route 30. Where's your son at this point? He's with you. He's with you when you went and met with. Okay. Now this is prior to meeting with. So then you got back to the motel, and that's when you contact. Okay. Did you make any other um, credit cards or, or debit card withdrawals prior to going back to the motel that day? Um. Yeah, I got some cigarettes and some to drink and some to eat. Where at? McDonald's, McDonald's. What what McDonald's? Which McDonald's? Um, the one, one in Dallas. Um, I think he's quite. The Olympia Shopping Center. Center. Do you use the credit card or debit card? The credit card. Okay, so we're still on Tuesday, the 31st, correct? Did you go anywhere else that night? No. Okay. The following day, did you go anywhere that day? The first, New Year's Day? Um, no, I just stayed at the motel and came um, over again and we got high. And the next day, I stayed in and got high. And the next day, stayed in and got hot. Is there still a Well, she can't really come over in the morning. Okay. So how many days did you stay at this motel? About four, five days. Okay. So the first day, we're, we're going with <coughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday? Uh, Saturday morning. You stayed there for five, five days, five nights? Well, five, five days. Mm -hmm. So you left Saturday morning? Around to about. He let me stay there a little bit later because I just rented the room for so long. So I left there about 2 o'clock Okay. On Saturday. So Saturday. Tell me about your day Saturday. Saturday, um, I went and got, um, I think it was like three bundles. And then I went back to the house, my house, the trailer, and I got high again. And then... Later that evening, I went to the Walmart and got the cleaning supplies and then the um, blue bin and I went back to the house and I took the Christmas tree down and the Christmas decorations down and I cleaned the entire house, like the floors and everything. Okay, this is on Saturday. Okay, this is day number four after the incident that happened at the trailer. Okay. So you left the trailer, you met, did you have telephone communication with anyone else other than me? Did you decide to call anyone? Did you decide to call the police, medics, anything? Okay, so your mom is in the trailer. At this point, do you think she's dead? Okay, you feel that she's dead at this point. No phone calls. All right, so you go about your day on, on Saturday, okay? What about the following day? Sunday. Sunday. Um, I just stayed at the house. 
be in college, they had the house. And I was going to put my mom in the blue bin, so I couldn't go back into the bathroom. And so I just got high. Okay. Okay, let's go back to this blue bin. You purchased that where? Walmart. I didn't purchase this blue bin. That was on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me about your trip to the Walmart. Um, me and my son went to Walmart and I got the blue bin and the cleaning supplies and the contractor, con contractor bag and then walked out of the Walmart and put it in the car and then me and my son drove back to, I got McDonald's for my son and then we drove back to the house. Okay, it's a Saturday evening. About what time? Um, probably around like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Okay. Now, <coughs> Now, is this the first time you've been on the trailer since you left on Tuesday? Yeah. Okay, so now you're back at Mom's trailer. Okay, you have clean supplies, a large bin. Can you describe this bin? How big was this bin? It was about as big as me. It was blue. Like, how, how, how large, how high off the ground has this bin? Uh, that high. Okay. And then from here to, like, as big as my body. Okay. No, what were your intentions with this bin? I mean, it's a, it's a large bin. What were your intentions? Put your mom in there. To put your mom into this bin. Okay. Now, were you going to do this by yourself? Did you have help? I did it myself. You're going to do it by yourself? So that was your main goal? You were going to put your mom in this storage bin? All right. So, you never did that, so at this point you decided to clean the place up, okay? Cleaning supplies, all right? What what area of the house did you clean up? The kitchen, the kitchen floor, and the um, cat, little bit of the cabinets, and then the um, entrance to like the house, where the door is at, front door, and then the living room by the TV, and then the hallway, and then um, back by the bathroom, and then I stop. So when you say clean up, like a weekly cleaning, what were you cleaning up? Um, the blood. The blood from your mother? Okay. What did you do with the, the, the cloths, the rags, the towels, during the garbage? In the trailer, in the same garbage where you put the hammer. Did you put any, discard any of the clothing, anything else, anywhere else? Okay. So the clothing that you were wearing on Tuesday in your bedroom, where at? Okay. All right. So you do a little cleaning, cleaning in the entire, pretty much the entire trailer. Okay. You still, you left your mother in the bathroom? You couldn't go in there. Couldn't go in there. Couldn't bear to see the sight of your mom in there? No. Just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't be here. I just went to bed. It was kind of hard. I just forgot. Well, you were there a couple of days ago. Friday or Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay. How did you go to the bathroom? Um, I went in a little, like a little bucket, and then tossed it outside. And so he just goes in his um, in his pull up. Okay, so you're saying that you stayed at the house Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. also Monday. Monday. Where'd you go? To the hearing, to my boyfriend's hearing, the son. That was a bit Tuesday. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was Monday the seventh. At one. That was the same day you got arrested, correct? Mm -hmm. That's Tuesday. Okay. That was Tuesday. Sir, do you remember if anyone? You sure it's Tuesday? Because that was Monday. Seventh of August, Tuesday. 
All right, so that weekend, the time that you're there, do you remember anyone coming over to the house? No. No visitors, any phone calls? Did your mom receive any phone calls? My mom received messages from a friend and phone calls from her boyfriend. But I told Mark, her employee, that um, I heard my, my ex, like my mom, I said I heard my ex. My dad gave out, and I just talked like, like she would. And then my dad called one time, and I told him that I was busy, and I'll call him back later. Okay, so when you say you have a conversation <coughs> with <coughs> with these people, telephone conversation, text conversations. Text conversations. And these text conversations were made on what? Mom's phone, your phone. Mom's phone. Your mom's phone. So you received text messages on your on your mom's telephone from coworkers, and you acted as if you were your mother. You responded to these messages acting as if your mother was responding. All right. What friends or co-workers do you remember um, attempted to contact your mom? Her friend and then her boyfriend and then my dad tried to call. Anyone else you wish, anyone else try to contact her, either call her or text her? Um, my grandmother, but I didn't answer. Now, did you have a conversation with, with your father? Mm -hmm. Okay, he was only trying to get a hold of your mom through her phone and via text. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is over the weekend. Roughly, do you remember what day? No, no. Okay. Going okay, back to your mom's phone, did you take it with you the day of the assault? Yeah. And were you texting, were people texting her while you were at the motel? Like that, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Thursday? And you were responding back, so you would have been in the in in the motel. And this is your mother's boyfriend. So basically, <coughs> this all started over a disagreement with one your mom's vehicle, and the fact that you're you're addicted to heroin. And the result of your addiction made you turn on your mom. Did you tell anyone or talk to anyone about about what happened? You never told me. On. Let's go back to um, when you left um, the motel that Saturday. How did you pay for it? How were you paying for the motel? I didn't take the motel Saturday after I left. Okay. How, okay. Well, how did? Well, how were you paying for the motel? You pay daily. Mm -hmm. uh, and you said you left when you left the motel. You went <coughs> maybe three bottles of heroin. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Who did you buy that off? One of his friends. Who was that? I don't know his name. She bought it for me. Where at? Um, it was in the key spot in Cranview. In Cranview. And while you were staying, you said at that motel at, at Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you left Saturday. Did you use um, any of your mom's debit or credit cards anywhere other than paying for the motel? We got a pizza. Where at? Um, I had to order to the motel. You know, what, what pizza shop? Did you make go to any map machines or anything else? Any stores where you use the credit card or debit card? Yeah, I got cigarettes and stuff. You know where? Um, the gas station, the Fisher House. I was in the second 
gas station, a Dunkin' Donuts, and yours for sales. Where else did you use the card? Now you went back to the, the house on Saturday, is that correct? Eventually that led you to go to Walmart in Delaware, mm -hmm. which you said was around somewhere between 7 and 8 o'clock at night. Do you remember what entrance or exit you, you came in and out of Walmart? That's not entrance. Is there only one entrance or there's two? Usually. There's two. So you remember which one was it though? The one on the far right. One on the far right. And did you did you exit the same? Mm -hmm. And was he with you or was he in the car? Mm -hmm. You were holding him, carrying him? He was buggy. And when you went there, you went to get certain items, is that correct? What items did you steal? You remember stealing? I remember stealing a bin and a contract for that. And yeah, four on nine H pan and the vinegar and the wash rag and the two sponges and the gloves. And the gloves. Did you do any like did you look at a computer or anything to check like what cleans blood? No. Uh, you didn't do any research on how to clean blood? I just was looking at supplies. And you went back to the house. Did you clean that night? Okay. Went back to um, the hallway area. The hallway leads from the living room towards um, the bedrooms and bathroom. Was there, was, is that carpeted? No, there's a throw rug. The throw rug? Is, is it the whole length of it? Kind of. Did you do anything with that? I rolled it up and put it in the hamper. And when did you do that? Um, that night that I killed Tuesday you went and seen, went to the hearing, it was canceled, and then you subsequently got robbed, you subsequently got arrested for the robbery at PNC. Mm -hmm. You were in your mother's car. Right. Okay. And what day was the robbery at PNC? It was the day of your of, of your boyfriend's yeah. um, schedule here. Yeah. Did you have cattle killing your mother? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Did it? 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 You got to you got angry. Got very angry. I really wanted. You really wanted. Yeah, because I was so sick. I didn't want to feel that way anymore. All right, sir. It's thank you. Right now it is sixteen twenty-five hours. That concludes our interview. Thank you, sir. If there's any questions, we'll you know, you can sit in here for a minute. Um, if there's any other questions, you know, we'll come back and ask you. All right, we're going to keep the um, the audio and video recording running, okay? See if someone will sit with you, either myself or, or another trooper, one trooper. <coughs>
Let's get some up in here. She went for the front door during the attack. You pushed her into the kitchen. And it caused her to, you caught, she fell. Alright, sir. Can you retreat a rather fair leader with the state police? Yeah. Okay, no threats or anything? No. Okay. Very nice. Alright, thank you very much. I'm going to turn off the audio recording. It's um, 16, 28 hours. All right, sir. 